Hello, this is your plane oxygen not included. It's so the last episode I started off with saying that I had a problem with my infinite liquid storage. And I'm starting off this one with the exact same thing. But this time it's a different problem. Uh, I've got this overpressured here. Now it is correct that I have a mix of liquid. I do want some water in here or some other liquid. Uh, um, but the problem with this is I've got too much water. And it's been overpressured on both ends. I'm expecting it to be overpressured down here. That's not really the problem. Water's floating to the top. And there's just too much of it. So I need to get some out. So let's start that process now. I'm going to start pumping out this and directing it to go into my liquid reservoirs once again to get this uh, hopefully fixed for the final time. Moving the pips from this level. So we've got sleet weeds all along here. We're going to go put them down here and hold on i keep forgetting make sure we do this before the pips get in here just cover this up where we don't want them to build something and we'll get even more sleet wheat so i have taken enough liquid out so i've got brine here and just water I need less than a thousand kilograms so we can stop pumping water out. We'll keep the mount, that amount of water in there and make sure we add no new water. So on the way out of this, we'll just pause that. We will bring all the liquid back in, which means I've got to reverse this line. So this is going to be a filter for brine. Brine can go into here. And we just need to change this direction around. So get rid of this. And we'll connect this after that is been, that has been snapped. It should be here in a second. There. So now, just waiting for that liquid bridge. Water is going up here. Because we don't want too much water in here such this, that that's going to overflow these guys. Everything else is going to go down. Now, that's paused. Why? Got that pipe blocked. Oh, yes. That, uh, that should be going to the input, not the output. Alright, a few more pieces of water, but after that, as long as there's less than a thousand, only brine's going to be going on from this uh, point on. The rest of the water we're just going to cache here for future use. And now, hopefully, 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 this is going to be our infinite brine liquid storage. Realizing that these tiles here aren't really even necessary. I don't know why I thought I needed those at the time. I just essentially need the airflow tiles. Got a system here to be able to jump some brine on the floor via the switch. That's being put into bottles because I've got a rocket I'm designing here. So we've got black cargo and blue cargo. In black cargo, I already worked with this before, but this has this new area here to store oil, crude oil, and this area, which I've already been using, this is storing carbon dioxide, 123 kilograms worth. Just realizing I'm gonna have to go back in here before I create a vacuum. But the idea on this left side is to store crude oil in the vacuum. So it's going to be pumped in, dumped right here, and won't get the rocket hot. And I'll be able to pump it back out. Get that pump here for the purpose of creating a vacuum. Now that's the black cargo. Then we have blue cargo. Blue cargo is going to be storing over here infinite uh, water liquid. We'll do this one right, hopefully. And over here, this is going to be an infinite oxygen storage. I can see we already have too much brine. I have to dump some of that out. But yeah, essentially, I, I call it a blue cargo because water and oxygen is both blue, at least 
in this game. So just looking at this setup, it looks like it's doing good so far. And I only see Brian in here. And if I click on each one of these guys, just Brian, just Brian, just Brian. So, I don't see why not to just skip this. Why waste power on a filter if I know everything is Brian at this point? First pieces of Bristol Berry are here. I've got these little guys helping out with uh, making these grow a little bit quicker. So let's find edible bristle berry and bring that into my deep freezer so it'll last forever. And we'll be using that for cooking later on. Almost forget about the pakus. Let's not do that. Create tile here and here. Actually, hold on. I think we gotta start like this. Scene pressures of over a thousand kilograms, indicating that this system, I think, is finally working, which is really good news. I'm, uh, I've built some Atmos suits in the last episode, and I'm going to be sending this to another asteroid, these six Atmos suits, and I figure, why not start charging them with oxygen before I send them over, so that when I'm on this new world, I don't have to actually do that process. It'll already be filled with oxygen for my dupes to go over to the oily asteroid and use Atmos suits to discover various things. And now I'm in the middle of a refactor of a Draco stable, two of them, putting a pinch of pepper plants in place here, wild. I'm going to do a similar thing in this one and before I complete all the changes. So I'm built, moved pepper plants right here. I can see water weeds is here, but oh, I, this is going to be a problem. But I can cover that up. And what I'm going to do is get the pips that are in this room, wrangle them, bring them over. Pretty much the same idea as I'm doing with Sleet Wheat right now. I have to have one pot over here to put like that. Let's go over, check these guys here. Another one to go. Making a little change here. I don't want to fully charge this Atmosu dock because I'm not actually intending in this to use as docks. I just want the individual Atmosu themselves to be charged. So hopefully this will be a little bit more efficient. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. All right. You know what? We're going to fix this in a more crude way. I don't have the patience to pump this out again. Let's get in here. So what happened is I can see now I needed less than a thousand. I was thinking I need less than two thousand. But uh, yeah, drain more water out of this spot. Brian's probably gonna go with it. As long as we get, uh, how do I? Not well. I think I think Brian will have to go. Where's that gonna go? I guess this uh, Paku is going to be happy. Speaking of which, let's bring those around. So more water is going out. That's what I was hoping. Okay, 200, 200. That would be enough. Less than a thousand. Now, now, now. Can we finally have an infinite liquid airlock? Gas or liquid. Yeah, infinite sorry in an infinite liquid storage if i can talk there all right yeah a little bit liquid going around oh well well 
I just don't have the patience to pump that out again. Got good output from my Bristol Blossoms. We got Farmer's Touch and Sweetle Tending. And all of that is going to the deep freezer. So we've got the Atmo suits charged up. Cut oxygen to this system over here. Oh, yeah. I guess I'll have to uh, cancel the, all those together. Okay, so I only have four created. That's fine. That's going to be enough for my purposes of getting a little bit of oil from the oil biome. Those are going to be brought onto this Explorer rocket so that we can go there and have those pre-charged for arrival. Connecting this pipe. So I want to start loading the blue stuff into the blue rocket that's water and oxygen so we've got water going in we should also see oxygen going in as well so looking inside the blue cargo so oxygen is 7.78 .7, kilograms rising similar thing oh should be happening over here we get uh, some water that's going to be pushing up Amazing. So the idea is when this rocket arrives, it's going to have tons of water and tons of oxygen for use. Very useful. Just doing some preparation for the next mission. I want to send a rocket here with some dupes on it. But I uh, figured why not do a bypass, go here send in a rover and then land here so to do that i will now and i'll also build uh, send some metal down so we can build a platform and we'll get a rover module on there and we'll have uh, do essentially a two-in-one mission got some pips over in this room They've been putting some pinch of pepper plants in place. Just need to heat up this area and put uh, three more over here. And then I can finish some refactoring the bottom of this area, which I'll be excited to do. Been attending to a lot of these Draco eggs. They're starting to be born, so we'll repopulate several of these. Hoping to have more hydrogen. This is a decent amount of hydrogen, but I think we can have even more. Especially once we have more Atmos suits for all the dupes to use. Me even be a fully hydrogen enclosed area, but uh, yeah, let's give them at least more food, pinch of pepper plants for the meantime. Inside the blue rocket, I was receiving water from my main water line. Probably not a great idea, so, uh, reason being because on this world over here, which is my source of water, uh, it's getting actually quite low. So, that's something of concern. So, we need another source of water. So, I'm just putting water from the polluted water that's down here for the time being. I can see the dupes can't actually reach that. Let me just give a ladder over. But, uh, yeah, that, that allows me to stop pumping from that little water cache because... I need that for oxygen on both bases. And soon I'll have to actually switch from this to actually my main base. Or make a desalinator. Nice thing is, I have a lot of liquid since I finally figured this bit out. So it's, it's a really good thing to have liquid vents on both sides. This water moved over this side. Doesn't really matter which one it's on. Finally, brine is going to be pushed in here. And it'll see some liquid water, which is under pressured, and it's going to continually push this thing down and down and store more and more brine that we can use in the future. Finally, getting a little bit smarter with the pips. While these pips here are working on these simultaneously, having another pip over in this world or this little section to start the process so we can get more sleet wheat down at the same time. Let's have a quick look to see how my overall sweet, uh, sleet wheat is going. Looks like the oldest piece 
has just crossed the 50% mark in terms of actually being able to create more seeds of itself. So continuing the process of pushing in more and more oxygen and water. And we have our blue cargo rocket along with the black cargo rockets. So that is giving us, let's just check to make sure everything's working on the inside. It's looking pretty good. So we've got more and more water being added continuously here. An immense amount of oxygen, 225 kilograms and rising. Going to be very useful. So whatever base that I go to next is going to be the oily asteroid. I won't have to produce my own oxygen or find a water source. I think that's going to be it for today. So made this blue rocket, upgraded the black rocket to contain a crude oil storage with temperature protection. We've been planning these. Actually, just one more to go. Pips are doing well. Gonna warm this area up next episode. We'll factor this a little bit around a little more. And we fix this guy. This is finally healthy again. We're getting brine, and that's that's really important because I want to make sure this guy never becomes overpressured. Just looking at the overall water situation, this guy's gonna be dormant in 11 cycles, so by the time the next episode is done, it's probably complete for a bit. So I was able to get as much as I could thanks to that pump and finally figuring this out. But at, uh, over here, this guy's been deactive for a while. It's going to be active in 27 cycles or so. So quite a while before this actually gets used or, or is active again. So I'm going to have to rely on the liquid that's here for oxygen as well as liquid that's uh, down here. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, the liquid here is oh oh there's actually oh I didn't even okay all right we're actually good for a little bit longer I forgot uh, that this water was hiding okay that buys us a bit of time actually that, that's very good news um so yeah anyway that uh, that's it for now thanks for watching hopefully I will see you in a future episode where we'll continue on expanding this base. And send the black and blue rocket along with the explorer rocket from this home world over to Earth, or Earth Ista. And I'm actually quite excited to be uh, down there with some Atmo suits, plenty of oxygen, plenty of water. We'll be able to do quite a bit over here, including getting access to crude oil and many other resources. Well, until then, thanks for watching.